Hey guys, welcome back to Earthbeat. In this video, we are going to replace the battery on the iPhone 12 mini. This battery has a battery capacity of 91% after only one year of use. So we need to replace the battery to have a 100% battery capacity again. So we are going to start by heating up the device for at least two minutes on the lowest setting of the heat gun. And after that, we need to use our suction cup to insert our first tool between the screen and the frame of the device. After we have inserted our first tool in, we need to grab our guitar pick and start to move around the edges of the device in order to separate the screen from the frame of the device. If you have a device that was never open, you need to take a little bit of time to remove the screen out of the device without the screen getting damaged and you need to focus on the left side of the screen which has the flex cables that you don't want to cut we have successfully separated the screen from the frame of the device to continue our battery replacement we need to remove six screws five on the top near the cameras and one in the middle so very important use a plastic tool to always remove your battery cable so do not use a metal tool you risk to create fire and permanently damage your device for this repair we need to remove two flex cables one on the top and the other one in the middle those are the flex cables for the screen. Next, we need to peel off the double-sided tape attachment that we have on top of the battery. When that has been complete, you can grab one end of the double-sided tape and pull it strongly. You have to pull on four pull tabs, two on the top and two at the bottom of the battery. Sometimes these things work flawlessly, but this time it didn't work well. So I had to heat up the back of the battery through the back cover of this device and use my tool to pull the battery out of the frame of the device. Also very important, do not use a sharp tool to remove the battery like I'm doing it in this video. You need a flat metal tool that cannot puncture the battery. If the battery gets punctured with a metal, you can create fire and your device will not work again. And also you can obviously harm yourself. And if you have a plastic tool, I recommend you to use a plastic tool to remove the battery by brute force and heat like I did in this video. And you can also use alcohol to soften the glue on the back of the battery, but I do not recommend that because we have too many components on the back of this battery. When the battery is out, you need to clean everything, all the remaining glue that is still attached to the frame of the device. The replacement battery should come with some new double-sided tape that you need to attach to the back of the battery. You need to have the shoulder double-sided tape on the top of the battery, longer double-sided tape at the bottom of the battery. It follows the same dimension as the charging coil that we have on the back for the wireless charging. Make sure you apply a little bit of pressure on the back of the battery for the tape to stick. After that, remove the protective film and adjust the battery so that the battery cable is aligned with the flex cable connection. So at this moment, do not apply any pressure on the battery until you have aligned the battery cable. After that, you can start to apply some pressure on the battery for it to stick to the frame. Once the new battery in, we need to reconnect our screen flex cables. We have one in the middle and we have another one in the top of the device. I already added all the flex cables returning plate and at this point I recommend you to test the device to make sure that the battery that you installed in your device is functional. So if you press the power button and the device does not turn on, you need to connect the charging cable and the device will automatically sense a charge and turn on by himself. Also, all the tools and parts that I use in this video will be linked into the description. After opening your device, you always need to buy some seals. It all depends on you. If you want your device to retain some kind of water resistance, you need to change the double-sided tape that is between the frame and the screen of the device. So all the repair aspect of this battery replacement are done. And this is what you get after you replace the battery of your iPhone. This is a standard notification that Apple push to scare you. It is true that installing a replicate battery in your device is not good. And also the device does not show you anymore the battery capacity. So this message will stay on your device, but it will not affect anything. I tried all the features on this device and nothing was altered by the battery being replaced. The battery that I installed inside this device came from another iPhone 12 mini. So it is an original battery made by Apple. Regardless of where your battery is coming from, you're going to have this notification and you just have to ignore them. This thing happens with the screen and the battery if they are replaced. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe, like and share and I will see you guys next time.